Okay, uh, let's look at uh, homework 10, number six. All right. So first, uh, we need to show that uh, uh, y equals five minus c times e to the negative x is a solution of the differential equation dy over dx is equal to five minus y. All right, so let's do that. All right, so we just need to take the derivative to see if uh, this equation holds, all right? So by taking a derivative, dy over dx is equal to, all right, derivative of five is zero, so I'm not gonna write that down. That's negative c, so negative c is just a constant multiple, so I put that in front. All right, derivative e to the negative x is uh, e to the negative x, then multiply by derivative of inside function, which is negative one, All right? So we have a negative uh, sign here and a negative sign there, All right? We have that. So you have uh, simplified to uh, c times e to the negative x, All right? So this is the left-hand side of the equation. All right, how about phi minus y? So if you look at the phi minus y, all right, is equal to, all right, so you have a five, and then you're subtracting uh, y, which is five minus uh, c times e to the negative x, all right? So you can see that uh, here, five minus five cancel out, all right? Negative sign, negative sign. So you can see that that's gonna be a positive sign, all right? So this is gonna give you uh, C times E to the negative X, right? So comparing the left-hand side and the right-hand side, so we have uh, left-hand side equaling the right-hand side. Right, right. I mean, right hand side, uh, left hand side being this guy, and the right hand side being phi minus y. Right. So this verifies that uh, y equals phi minus c e to the negative x is a solution of this differential equation. All right. So then, uh, this is a general solution. Uh, we want to find a particular solution uh, that passes through zero comma negative three, all right? So let's do that. So all you really have to do is uh, plug in x equals zero and y equals negative three, all right? So y is negative three, all right? Uh, let's see, negative three as equal to, all right? So you have five minus c times e to the negative uh, plug in zero, so e to the negative zero, right? But uh, e to the zero, as we know, is equal to one, right? So this will give you uh, five minus c, right? So if you want to solve for c, uh, we can first uh, subtract five from both sides, right? Then, so negative three minus five is negative eight is equal to, right? Negative five, so it's gonna be negative C, right? Then we multiply both sides by negative one to get rid of the negative sign. So it's going to be positive eight is equal to C, right? So we know that the C is eight. So therefore, uh, we have a particular solution, which is y equals five minus, right? Then c came out to be eight, e to the negative x, right? So this is a solution, particular solution that passes through uh, the point zero comma negative three, right? So let's type it in. All right, so this is going to be equal to, uh, let's see, all right, five minus eight e to the uh, negative x. All right, let's uh, check the answer. All right, 
Got that. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.